Hey, welcome to JG3 Reviews. I've got a fountain pen today that actually I found out about when David Anderson commented on one of our, my posts about pocket pens. And he recommended that I take a look at the Bina Magic Pocket Pen from India. I had never heard of this pen. He mentioned that it was one of his favorites. So naturally I did what every fountain pen addict does. I went onto the internet and found the pen. And uh, I'm gonna share with you today uh, what I think of this pen. It's kind of an interesting pen with a, a different kind of a feature, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I'll show you that here is just a second after we flip the camera and get a closer view of the Bina Magic Pocket Pen. Okay, so here is the Bina Magic, and you may be wondering, what's with the name? Well, the Bina, I have no idea, but the Magic, I do know what the secret of this pen is. If you uh, take off the cap of what looks like an ordinary pen, it has a little bit of a trick, but before we get to that, let's explain. This is a pocket pen. It doesn't look like it, I know. Up close, it looks like a full-size fountain pen, and you don't think pocket at all. Uh, you do notice that the clip is a little bit shorter, and it's a good stiff clip if that's important to you, but that's a little bit shorter, so that might tip you off that the pen is a little shorter. It's when you really compare it to another pen that you start to see that it is a shortened pen. It's not as drastically short as, say, the Moonman 80 uh, Mini that I reviewed not that long ago, but I think they're going, as you can see here, for maybe a Goldilocks middle ground between full size and absolutely tiny. And so that's what the deal is. That pen in the back is a pen BBS 308, if you're wondering. Uh, but this pen is a compact pen. It fits great in a shirt pocket. It fits in your jeans pocket. That's what it's made for. It has another trick, however, besides just being small. It's actually similar in diameter, by the way, to that pen BBS, which means that it's similar in diameter to Sailor and some other pens, things like that. Uh, so it's, it's not at all a small pen, not in the hand. In the hand, it feels like a, a normal full-size fountain pen. So how did they get a shorter pen, uh, a full-size pen, into a shorter case and barrel and everything else. How did they how did they do that? That's the magic. When you open it up, you will think that someone has robbed your nib. Somebody didn't do their job at the factory, but that is not true. That's the magic of the pen. It has a retractable nib. And so that is why I, I went ahead and, and jumped on this pen after it was recommended in the comments because I love gadgets and I like things like that. And maybe it's just a gimmick, I don't know. They say, obviously it makes it a little bit shorter and easier to fit in the pocket, but you know, with the cap, it you can't put the cap on. That is true because it has a plastic sleeve inside that prevents you being able to do that. If the sleeve had been made a little bit differently though, it looks like it would have been able to fit into the cap, no problem. So what's the reasoning here for this special little uh, gadget and trickery? Well, they say it will keep the nib from drying out as much, and that may very well be true. There's not really a way for me to test that. Uh, it hasn't dried out on me, there is that, but. A lot of my other pens don't either that, that have a retractable, or that, excuse me, that don't have a retractable nib. So who knows? The pen does come, by the way, with a, uh, a uh, cartridge of ink, and it, it did not come with a converter, although I'm, I'm sure it's an international short cartridge. I'm sure that you could find a cartridge short enough to fit in there. Maybe one from a Caveco Sport would work in there, but I can't guarantee that. So, you know, at your own risk, if you have one lying around, you might try it. Uh, I haven't tried that yet. I've, I've not burned through the first cartridge. Uh, but there, there you go. When you screw it on, it's gonna probably make it go on down. But that retractable nib is the magic. And I think it's cool. I, it just appeals to the gadget lover in me. Let me show you the nib. The nib is an Iridium Point nib, it says. It's a two-tone nib. I think it looks pretty nice. Not bad at all. And uh, just so you know, these pens are new old stock. It's uh, from India. You can buy, at the time that I got mine, you can buy two of them. They come in a pack of two. And they are uh, $12, $6 a piece, and that's with free shipping from India to the US, 12 bucks, got here in a week and a half or two weeks, not bad at all. And it came in great shape, still in its original packaging. Now I will tell you something that kind of cracks me up about this pen, and yes, I'm gonna play with it the entire time. Uh, one of the things that, that 
uh, I noticed when I unpackaged it, and of course it's been in there for years, okay, new old stock, it's been in there for years in a warehouse in India, is I am gonna warn you, the pen for a little while is going to have a funky smell. One of my favorite quotes from King of the Hill, Bobby Hill, uh, letting them know who it was that may have burned down the church, look for the man with a terrible smell. He may have had one of these pens in his pockets because the plastic, the offing of the plastic, for whatever reason, smells a little bad. But it, it'll, it'll, it'll wear off, okay? So it's not a deal breaker, I don't think. But just be warned that that might happen uh, when you open up the package. And it's, it's kind of funny, really. But is it a good pen? What it really comes down to is it, it's a cool gadget. Uh, it's fun to, to, to deal with. I don't recommend doing this in the middle of meetings. You're going to distract somebody and they're going to kick you out. Uh, but it is kind of fun to play with a pen. Uh, but the real question always that rears its head is, can it write? So let's uh, rearrange things here for a second and see if the pen writes well. Okay, so let's try out the Bina Magic. First, about to post out of habit, but don't really want to post this pen because of the moving uh, mechanism there. Let me tell you a little bit about it first uh, in terms of how it, how it feels. Uh, the grip is, is a nice grip section, uh, kind of just, I would say, a, a normal size, neither too narrow nor too thick. The step down, you might want to be aware of. Let me put this on the paper so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, this edge to the plastic is a little bit sharp. Uh, I don't know, maybe in a long writing section or session that would, uh, if you're writing real long uh, notes or something through a meeting or a day, uh, class. Maybe that would bother you. Uh, quick writing, it's not going to bother you. Uh, it's a, a good diameter on the section here, not too thin, not too thick. But that that might get you. Uh, other than that, I think it feels good in the hand. You're not going to want to post it uh, because of that mechanism there, I don't think. Um, I'm not going to. And it is nice that it's long enough uh, that that's not a, not a problem. So this is, again, Bina Magic. And it is a medium nib, and that's definitely what it is. It, or, did I say medium? That's absolutely wrong. That's definitely not what it is. It's a fine, and it writes fine, and it's a nice fine because it writes smoothly. It's not scratchy like some fines and extra fines. So, really good fine nib. This is just a mystery blue. <laughs> that's not the name. It is a mystery. I have no idea who made the ink. Uh, it was just a supplied cartridge in the pen, so obviously it, it came from India with the pen, and I'm sure it was made in India, uh, but not India ink, obviously. Uh, but just a, a mystery blue. I, the blue that's supplied with it is fine. I like it. Uh, but then I'm kind of a sucker for blue inks. There aren't many I don't like. It writes well. Um, I don't have... That looks like a hard start, but I don't think it was. It's probably just because I yak too long. Uh, it keeps up. I don't ever have to, to stop writing because the ink's not flowing. I haven't had any problems like that whatsoever. See, it's a little bit dry, but not overly dry. Uh, it, it writes well. And uh, I, I just have absolutely no complaints. Let me just write a little bit more. So you can see how it does. Nothing fancy here. So... Not too bad. I like it. I find it's comfortable, uh, writes well, has a nice, uh, nice, clean, crisp, fine line, and so ends up looking good on the page if you write better than that, <laughs> better than I'm writing today. But it's a, it's a good pen and I like it. Uh, so would I recommend the pen? Let me remember to put that back in before I put the cap on. That's the one thing you gotta remember. So would I recommend this pen? You know what? Absolutely. And I'm glad that David recommended it to me in the comments because uh, I'm pleased with it. I can see why he likes this pen. It writes well. It feels good in the hand. It is a nice classic looking pen. A bit more formal, say, than the, uh, the Moon Man 80 Mini in some ways. Or you may, you may disagree. You may think that looks a bit more formal. But I think this one is so... It, it looks like what it is. It's chopped off. Whereas this is designed to be the size that it is, and I think that makes it look a little bit better. 
Uh, and as far as the way it writes, it's fantastic. It uses a short international cartridge, and I think you could probably get a mini converter like I mentioned before from the Caveco and that probably would work which makes it yet again even better. You're not going to be able to use a full size converter because when the nib is retracted it's going to be too long. Uh, but I'm sure that there is a converter that would fit this just fine. And uh, so it makes a great everyday carry pocket pen or a pen for shirts uh, where the pocket is too short. So. Highly recommend the pen. Uh, grab one while you can. It's new old stock. I, I doubt they're making them anymore, uh, from what I understand, but maybe they are. Uh, I would I would jump on that while they're still there. Uh, Twelve bucks for two of them. Buy one, give one. <laughs> Just <laughs> don't tell your friend about the smell. They might not accept the gift. Other than that, great pen. God bless you. Have a great week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos.